I'm Michael Moskowitz, and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about spiritual proactive parenting. As a parent myself, I'm intimately familiar with the challenges, frustrations, and joys of being a parent. Dealing with kids is not easy. Children are experts at pushing our buttons. They bring out the best of us, love, care, compassion, but they also have the ability to bring out the worst. If you think about the word parenting, you'll notice that it doesn't mention children. Parenting is about parents, actually. It's not about children. A lot of times, people that are interested in parenting are looking for that special formula. What's that special code word I need to say to whip my child into line? What's the special series of steps I need to take in order to exact certain performance or behavior for my child? And and I can tell you right now, from a spiritual perspective, that's not a healthy way to think about it. Let me ask you a question, and think about this for a moment. Are you responsible for your children? Now you're going to hear that question and you you might reactively think right away, yeah, of course, if I'm not responsible for my kids, who is? And let me ask you another question before I answer the first. Can you be responsible for something that you're not in control of? Meaning, do we really control anybody or anything? Can I control my child? I can attempt to exact a certain type of behavior from him or her, but that's not going to really solve anything. I certainly can't control other people. The only thing I can control is myself. So we would say from a spiritual perspective, we're not responsible for our children, which is a wild thing to hear, because you can't be responsible for something you can't control. How about this? I'm responsible to myself, and I have responsibility towards my children. I'm not responsible for my children. I have a responsibility towards my children. What's that responsibility? To be the best adult, to be the best parent, to be the most proactive person that I can be. You know, as a parent, we all want our children to become you know, self-directed adults. We don't want to have to give them advice and money and, and, and endless resources for the rest of their lives. We want them to wake up one morning and take charge of their lives and become happy, independent people which means if we want them to be that way, we first need to be that way ourselves. If you're a mother, for example, and you're screaming at the top of your lungs to get your kids ready for the bus because they need to get to school on time, what are you teaching your child? You're teaching your child that when they're in a stressful, anxiety-producing situation, they should also lose it and scream. That's why it's so important for parents, and particularly to study you know, the basic spiritual ideas of pause. Just pause. Does that mean that your child, it's okay for your child to be late? No, but pause the desire to be reactive in wanting to get certain behavior out of your kid. Your consciousness at any given moment in time is more important than anything else because that's where your children get their light and that's where they get their energy from. So when you feel the urge rising up inside of you to yell or to be reactive, or when you feel your kids pushing your buttons, first take a pause. Relax and say, how do I act as a model proactive parent to my child right now as opposed to attempting to exact a certain type of behavior? If you follow this path on a regular basis, you're creating a space not only for yourself to reevaluate the situation, which will give you more choices about how to help your child be more proactive themselves, but you're also creating a place for the light force or the creator to enter your life. When we learn how to restrict our reactive tendencies, the creator can enter our lives and offer solutions that we can't see when we're not in a proactive state of mind. So proactive parenting is really all about learning how to inject a little pause consciousness into our minds as parents and then we give that over to our kids. They learn how to take a step back when something happens to them and consider more angles and eventually behave with more compassion towards themselves and other people. Have a wonderful day.